Did the Halo Infinite flight just get leaked? Well, kind of. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So recently there's been this image going around the internet showcasing the file size of the Halo Infinite flight. So in this video I wanted to go into whether or not this leak is actually legitimate or something somebody could fake or have we seen this in the past which we kind of have actually. So if you like these news and informational kind of videos make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the channel. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we're up until the release of Halo Infinite. Make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So recently, Reddit user SilverPit12 posted an image of what looks to be some information about Halo Infinite's flighting process. Now the image itself is all written in Italian, but easily translatable through Google Translate. And most of the information that's on this image is pretty much standard stuff, like saying like Xbox Game Studio and stuff like that. Interesting thing written down is Peggy16, which is a T rating, which we covered previously on this channel and also the file size being 10.72 gigabytes and funny thing that the same reddit user said they updated and said that they cycled through various stores and then came back to the italian one there's no size listed anymore and this was all done on the xbox series x so is this leak legitimate could the file size for the flight be around 10 gigabytes close to 11 Possibly, but also possibly not. Leaks are kind of a fickle thing where it's really something that you have to take on just people's words, essentially, because obviously it's not going to be confirmed by a 343. If it was, then it wouldn't be a leak. It'd just be news. So what I wanted to do in this video as well is go back to the past to see what we had for previous Halo beta leaks and what their file sizes were to see if this is something that might sound correct. And honestly, we don't have to go too far back in the past to see any kind of comparisons. Six years ago, on December 4th of 2014, a similar leak happened with the Halo 5 Guardians beta page. And within this image, you can see that there's a file size of 10.27 gigabytes, and it has a release date, but obviously this is a bit of a placeholder because that's not when the Halo 5 beta launched. But this, the image you're looking at right here is pretty much the exact same thing from like six years ago, but right now for Halo Infinite, where someone's just taking a picture of like the Xbox menu with their phone. But this leak right here turned out to be rather legitimate. As when the beta page was officially posted, you can see that it was a 10.26 gigabyte update and the official launch date was on December 12th of 2014 and it ran till January 18th of 2015. Also rated Peggy 16, which if you guys remember, of course, Halo 5 is rated T for ERCB. So then if the Halo 5 beta is projected to be about the same size as the Halo Infinite beta, which is kind of surprising being six years later, you'd think that the file sizes would be a bit larger, but what kind of content was involved with that Halo 5 flight to warrant a 10.26 gigabyte update? Well, let's take a look. So the Halo 5 beta included all of these weapons, all of these maps, and three game modes. So just to recap, that's eight maps, three game modes, 11 weapons, and 13 armor sets as well. Yeah, a bunch of different kind of bits of armor customization as well within this beta test that we had for Halo 5. So could we expect the same kind of experience with the Halo Infinite flight test for the technical preview, at least for the side of things? Well, one, I'm expecting to have at least have a BTB available. So that'd be at least two maps of just BTB. We're gonna have some 4v4 modes, so probably like eight-ish maps as well, I could totally see. As we did see all those maps that were featured in the Cannon Fodder blog update, I could possibly see all those maps being thrown in with the technical preview as well. But will there be more than 11 weapons? We haven't really seen much more than about that. So possibly that this 10.72 gigabyte update for the technical preview flighting process for Halo Infinite could be about right. I still think that's a rather low number, though it does sound like it's probably going to be about the same size for my expectations of the whole thing. But since it's going to be just, you know, six years later, I do kind of expect it to be pushing more the, towards the 20 gigabyte range. As nowadays, you have to take into consideration the 4K texture packs if they're going to allow those within the technical previews. If they don't have 4K texture packs, then yeah, possibly like a 11 gigabytes. I could totally see that happening. But keep in mind, guys, that overall leaks nowadays are much easier to fake. I mean, like really easy to make genuine looking fakes. Like, for example, the official Xbox Halo Infinite page. You think it'd be a pretty official spot to find some good news and information, right? So let's say someone shared you a screen.
screenshot of the official Halo Infinite Xbox page. That would be a good source to get your proper information from and someone shared you a screenshot of like say a release date, you might believe that, right? Well, you know, of course, you know, you can always just go into inspect right here in this section. You can drop down this menu and maybe just say like, you know, November 15th, you know, like what's the, what's the worst that could happen right there, you know? What's the, you know, what's stopping me from, you know, of course, this, no one would ever do this. No, no one would ever just like, you know, go this, open up the snip page or anything, copy that or anything, and then boom, you have a pretty sweet uh, official looking kind of, uh, fake am i right who would do such a thing oh yeah um i yeah i would i put this up on twitter just saying like november 15th trust me bro and don't forget to subscribe to kevin coolex yeah xbox page would totally do that so that's the thing about leaks in general that you kind of take them at face value and it's all just if you believe it or not and just take it with a grain of salt and if it doesn't come true then it doesn't come true but if it does happen that's pretty sweet what do i think of this leak well since he said it's on xbox it's a little bit harder to kind of edit and mess around with I do feel like just under 11 gigabytes is a bit low for what we should expect to see for content wise for these technical previews unless 343 is planning to do smaller more focused technical previews which I could totally see happening as well but those flights are coming very soon guys we've been seeing 343 pressure people a lot when it comes to signing up for the insider program so I could totally see this happening within a month, less than a month actually, I would expect to see it. Community director Sketch actively tweeted out people to sign up for the Insider program. To be able to take part of the Halo Infinite multiplayer technical preview, make sure that you keep track of that phrase by the way. Also stating that they will not be able to send invites to people before the technical preview goes live. So you need to be signed up before the technical preview goes live because then you won't be able to be added in unless you sign up before the date. Now this is pretty standard stuff. Stuff. The last time Sketch tweeted about signing up for the Insider program was right on June 13th, the day that the multiplayer reveal happened. So it would make sense for him to tweet that out. And I looked through his Twitter, he didn't really mention anything about the Insider program before this, really. But what makes that last tweet so interesting is that one of the heads at 343, Joe Sustain, retweeted this, making sure people know to keep an eye up for the Insider program, to sign up for it. In which I scrolled through Joseph Stain's Twitter, and he has not really mentioned anything about the Insider program or really tweeted out about it. He hasn't really been too active to get people signed up about it. So to see these heads at 343 actively tweeting out saying, hey, sign up for the program just makes me feel like that the technical preview is gonna happen relatively soon. How soon you may ask? Well, we have to refer back to a Unishack tweet. Unishack tweeted here saying, PSA Halo Infinite multiplayer technical preview details will be made known ahead of time. It will not be a surprise. Continuing on saying, we're constantly evaluating the flighting build just like we do with MCC flights and the exact timing is dictated by development realities. That said, once we have a firm date logged in, we'll let you know. So if you're new to the channel or miss any Halo news recently, I got a playlist right here that keeps you up to date with everything we've been uploading daily about. Well, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.